I think one of the big changes that people need to make in their lives to start seeing the world that they want to live in and the life that they want to live is the ability to regulate and understand their emotions. I've talked about this topic before, um, but I think I want to talk about it again. It's just an important one. A lot of people do not understand their emotions what emotions are and how to regulate their emotions. So they live very emotional lives. They get caught up in these emotional stories that end up kind of controlling how their life plays out. And most of the time they're not even aware that they're caught in these emotional stories that are pulling them in all sorts of directions and not allowing them to, live a more enriching life. So once you can start to understand that your emotions are really just stories that you keep kind of telling yourself over and over again and looping in because it's fun for your mind to get attached to attached to them and create this drama in your life and deep down you you know get pleasure out of that emotional drama so you create these kind of patterns within yourself that you get so used to that you can't even tell that you're in these kind of emotional stories and these dramas that have you know taken the reins of your life and aren't allowing you to be as focused, um, allowing you to have, you know, uh, better attention and be less distracted and a, a clearer mind with, with less noise. You know, emotion creates uh, a lot of turmoil kicks up a lot of dust um, in the psyche so it doesn't allow you to always see things and understand things from a more clearer perspective so when you can start to develop the kind of muscle and tool to learn to regulate your emotions and understand Um, these stories of emotions and kind of let go of them you can have more direction with with your life and be more calm and centered and grounded and you know you see things clearly it's not It's not muddy, you know. You're not in... It's like uh, if you're in water and you move a bunch of rocks and the water gets all muddied and you can't see through the water anymore. It's kind of like, you know, kicking up your emotions. But if you can learn to, you know, be still and regulate and not get attached to these emotions... The water is clear and you can see through it. And it's it's also like your awareness when you're not so emotional can kind of expand and, and expand your perspective on how you look at things. You're able to zoom out more and not be so like zoomed in on these like minuscule problems because you're so invested in this emotional drama of something that doesn't really even mean anything you're just so addicted to it and been so addicted to it that it's just a a pattern you're used to but when you can zoom out and break these patterns um, you can kind of rewire your brain to not not get so emotional over certain things It's not necessarily an easy thing to do, but it's possible. 
You just have to have, you know, the fortitude to want to change. And I think if you can change how your relationship with, is with your emotions, you'll start to see, you know, changes in your own life um, happen at a quicker pace, you know, compressing that time because you're not so invested in these emotional dramas that are in a way kind of taking you out of your body and sort of out of um, the present moment where everything is happening. You know, a lot of times when you're emotional, a lot of times when you're getting emotional and thinking about things, it's, it, it's, it's something that's already happened or things that you're, hasn't happened. So you're not here. You're not present. You're not in your body. You're very in your head. And I think something that could be good for people is something that I have did for myself was becoming sober. Um, that's just a choice I made. And it really helped me to be more uh, clear mind and see my emotions um, and allow me to regulate them and not get so caught up in them. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen to me from time to time still, but definitely, you know, becoming sober and not using a substance as a crutch um, to kind of either bury those emotions or run away from them or even amplify them um, has been a, a big key in helping me um, understand that aspect of my life and what emotions are, that they're just stories. And I see it in my personal life of people being like, with, for example, like weed and shit, they're like, I can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to function without my day if I didn't get high or wouldn't be able to handle people. And those people, they get very emotional and dysregulated um, with their emotions and how they handle things. Like if something goes wrong, like they flip shit, freak out over like the smallest things. Can it be the same for people that like are alcoholics or any sort of drug? Like they, any little thing can like really set them off. So that's just my personal opinion. I think just even if you, I think people, I think as an adult human being, you should at least experience being like completely sober for a full year. And then if you decide to not be like completely sober, more like developing a, you know, a better relationship with whatever substance that you're using and using it with like and with more intention. But you know, you don't have to do that. You can still do shit for fun if you want to. That's your life. You can live how you want to. But that's just an observation um, that to me holds holds truth. I also think once you have a better understanding and grasp of your emotions and how they play a role in your life, you, your consciousness um, levels up. I think a lot of people that are super emotional um, their awareness is at a lower level. Um, I mean, I can think of this example of someone I remember talking to someone that was at my work and they were told to move their car because they were parked in a spot that they weren't allowed to park and the person like that told him that um just you know told him nicely and this person got all mad because they were told to move their car and they were moving it already and this person wanted to fight my coworker because they told them to move their car and they were not going to leave the building until this person that told them my coworker came out and talked to them and it seems like he wanted to fight them because he was like, you can call the cops if you want. Like, I don't care what happens. And I was trying to explain to them, like, let's look at the bigger picture here. Like, it just seemed like a miscommunication, you know. 
yeah, things happen, man. Like, let's just move on with their day. And they were just so honed in, getting so emotional about this thing that had really no relevant, you know, um, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't really mean anything. And I don't know what they're going through in their life, but they didn't have the ability to just zoom out and look at the bigger picture and be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I didn't like it, but whatever. I'm just going to move on. And I see stuff like that all the time with people where it's like they just don't have the maturity level of the of what their consciousness should be like, you know, like a grown adult, but they still are acting like an adolescent or a child. They just haven't developed like emotionally or progress their awareness enough to, you know, what an adult should be like, you know. So yeah, if we, if we can learn to understand understand and regulate our emotions and not be attached to our emotions and these and the stories that are attached with them, our lives will become way more enriching, way more fun and creative and creative in the sense that like you learn to play like when you start to feel a certain emotion you're like oh I see this you know and I feel this in like a certain part of my body and you just let that energy you know be what it is and let go of it and you kind of laugh maybe even like yeah just play with it but until people can understand and develop that skill and muscle, they're not going to reach certain levels of consciousness that are going to help them design the reality that they want to see and want to live in.